Hi, I'm QDC. What we're going to build today is Master Box Japanese Imperial Marines Tarawa 1943. The reason why I bought this particular kit was because of a documentary that I saw on YouTube. The documentary was, a, was for the Battle of Iwo Jima during World War II. And in that particular uh, documentary, there was a man who, got, who, was, who was there, his name is Craig Lamont, and his interview um, during his experience in that battle really inspired me to uh, build a diorama based upon his, uh, his particular story, his, his experiences um, during the Battle of Iwo Jima. Craig Lamont was a second lieutenant of the 5th Marine Division, and on the fourth day of fighting, he and his men um, went, moved inland from the beach. And as he was approaching the line of hills, one of his men saw a Japanese soldier at a cave entrance, and so he fired on, at him. And by firing at that Japanese soldier at the cave entrance, a lot of other Japanese soldiers came out of the cave entrance, running down the hill, attacking him. So that particular story that he gave out inspired me to build a diorama based upon his story. Now, I have to admit something to you. I'm not sure if I could pull this, uh, this diorama out because this is really, really um, advanced, really. So let's go see what we do together. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one sprue containing four figures and it also includes six Japanese flags with writings on them. Here's a closer look at the figures on the sprue. The clothing looks really nice, very crisp, and the facial expression on each figure looks very nice too. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to build all four figures for you to see. Now, I'm afraid that by building all four figures, it'll get boring because each individual figure I have to build takes a long time for me to do. So through the magic of video editing, I'm going to speed up the process. Now for those of you who are Doctor Who fans, or ever watched the Doctor Who TV series, you know what I have in my hand. It's the Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. And I'm going to use the Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver as my magic wand to do some video magic. So I'm going to turn on the Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver, and now I'm going to perform some magic.
Alright, so it's time for me to build the Marine Corps figures. And I'm going to build the Marine Corps figures from this particular kit from Dragon, the LVT-4 Water Buffalo. And in this kit it included uh, some Marine Corps figures. And I'm going to build the tank later on in another video. So using the Dr. Sonic screwdriver again, I'm going to perform some video magic. Now I'm going to turn on the side screwdriver again. And I'm going to do more magic. This is the completed model kit for both the Dragon and also for the Master Box figures and they look pretty good. I made a mock-up of what the diorama should look like according to Craig Lamont's story about him um, fighting the Japanese as they rained down the hill and it looks very very nice. What's next is for me to paint the figures. It's time for me to paint the highlights. Behind the model figure is an old advertisement and I want to focus your attention onto this person right over here where I'm pointing at with my brush. Now on the man's jacket you notice that there's highlights um, right here and then it goes gradually it gets darker over here and then later on it gets um, lighter over here and I'm going to mimic that onto my model. So. I have a brush, a bloody color, and I'm going to put on the highlights where I think that there will be highlights on this man's pants. I'm going to paint the shadows. Going back to this man, you notice that as the highlights um, end, there's a dark shadow that starts 
as a light shadow and then it gets darker and darker and darker and then it gets lighter again and then it gets darker and darker again over here and I'm going to mimic that onto my model so I have a brush with, with a darker color and I'm going to paint where I think there's going to be shadows okay I just finished painting all the figures and now it's time for me to show you what I think about what I've done take a look all the figures have been painted and it looks pretty good I like all the figures and this guy right here that has been shot is about to fall down he looks very very good very well detailed and the commander he looks uh, very courageous and each individual figure has its own good facial expressions these guys look pretty good too again very good facial, uh, facial expressions um, the guy who's about to bandit somebody he looks very very good and courageous and this guy just running he looks pretty good too now I'm red green colorblind so I'm not quite sure this is um, to me is the right color but um, since I'm red green colorblind you might notice that the color may be off and I can't help that um, because I'm red green colorblind so this is pretty good I like it here are the figures for the Marine Corps and the dragon figures are good but they're not as good as the master box uh, figures for the Japanese they're, this is very well detailed but the facial expressions uh, is not so nice as the master box and the body postures are not that good except for this guy right here they're still a good kit but I like the master box better I'm going to work on my wooden base I bought this wooden base at my local craft store and I'm about to give it a stain I'm going to use Danish oil in a natural color and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply brush on the Danish oil on the base and let it soak for about 30 minutes wipe it dry and then reapply again to give it two coats of finish I'm going to make the hill what you see right here is two styrofoams that I glued together and in order for me to make the hill I'm going to use my fingers and simply just shape the hill by just removing the excess material and I'm going to keep on taking the material off until I get a hill that I want it's time for me to glue this, my styrofoam hill onto this wooden base what I have in my hand is ordinary construction adhesive that I bought at my local hardware store and I spread the adhesive on the bottom of my styrofoam hill and now I'm going to put it in place I'm going to add the ground material now what you see right here is pre-mixed tile grout and also cat litter and I'm going to put both of those two onto the hill and onto the wooden base I'm going to add some towel grout right over here is a cup of towel grout and I'm going to sprinkle that towel grout onto the base for added color
All right, so I just completed painting the figures, constructing a diorama, and now I want to show you my results. Take a look. This is the completed diorama from start to finish, and I like it a lot. I have to admit something to you. I didn't think that my diorama would look as good as it is right now. And what I like about it the best is the hill that I made. Now, this hill really gave a lot of uh, a dramatic feel for this particular scene. And I like the groundwork too. It looks very realistic. You might have noticed there's no vegetation in my diorama. No grass, no palm trees, nothing. And this is uh, accurate. For those of you who don't know, the word Iwo Jima means sulfur island in Japanese. And there is no vegetation on that island. Well, well very little at least. The master box figures are very, very good, and I like, I like them a lot. The dragon figures, although they're not as good as the master box figures, they look, they look pretty good too. I highly recommend both of these uh, figures, and this is a very good um, DRAM that I made. That completes this model kit and also the diorama. Now, the diorama turned out to be a lot better than I thought it would be, and I really like it a lot. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of my entire diorama, but before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encourages you to build a model kit of your own, either it's a model tank, a model plane, a model ship, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm having more uh, people from around the world watching my videos now, so I just wanted to know, uh, let the people of Japan know that, and also for my own people, that I respect both the Japanese soldiers and also the soldiers of my own people here in the United States for them fighting uh, on the island of Iwo Jima. Both the Japanese soldiers and the soldiers of my own country fought very bravely and courageously on that small, uh, on that small island. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching and please have a great day.